I'm going to base cam this time. I'm just playing. This is a chill game. I'm going to play for probably half, half an hour to an hour. Just, just relaxing. I think I'm stressing out a little bit too much playing games recently. I can't really relax. don't really enjoy my game time as much as I used to. Time to chill out a bit. Just, just play some games. So, keep some City 4 going. Last time we did some work in the other cities. This one's a bit neglected. We'll work on it just a little bit. And pull up chat here just in case we actually get somebody in here. I'm always confused on what I want to play. Like, I feel like I want to play all kinds of games, but then I get zero viewers on them, which makes sense because why would you just watch a random person playing new games all the time? You know, most people will actually watch smaller streamers for the games that they play, not them individually. That's just how it works. Anyways enough whining so let's zoom out look at the state of our city we have some crazy density over here i'm loving this area i've got some cool buildings a little bit of abandonment issues what's going on here a little bit sad Oof. Ten thousand workers stage 13 good stuff look at the growth whoa whoa that's a lot of growth so what's the problem customers are low and I think that's the only real problem is low customers. It looks like it's getting fixed right now. We'll see. So my plan was, if my cats don't make an annoying mess, play with crap on the ground. <sighs> so I wanted to make this area up here medium density with actually some wealth in it. And use this area over here for high tech industry. I think we can. I think we can make that work. Let's see. Yep, demand looks good. Let's make it happen. I've never actually run out of high tech industry demand ever. And I've made entire like large city tiles of high tech industry, and it doesn't it doesn't happen. So we'll just pull out a normal road over here. Uh, Angle it a bit, come over this way. Just end it right there, there we go. Growing city needs more juice. Um, coal, sure. Why not? Take that environment. Who needs air? municipal airport mm, this isn't really a commercial focused town we do have this pretty nice commercial district over here but i don't i don't know i want to keep the number of airports down because having them in every single tile i think that kind of drains the region-wide demand i don't know maybe i'm just an idiot that's probably that's probably it oh my gosh first you ask for a municipal airport now you ask for an international airport what's wrong with you Sickos, jeez, get out of here. Stop it. So one critique for this game is that, holy crap, they don't shut up about the stupid notifications about everything going wrong. Like, I leave them on because I want to know when the things are burning down so that way I can actually deal with the problem. But the game, like, takes that inch and goes a mile with it. And it's like, this person's mad because you... You're dumb. It's like, I know I'm dumb. Leave me alone. Or whatever. It's fine. Let's zoom in here. I don't really want to do this intersection here. It's pretty upset about that. So we do this and that. It's still a bit wonky of an intersection. It's like three intersections in a row. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. Let's pick a roundabout. Okay. Pull some power lines over. So this is going to be high tech. Which means it needs a good space away from the dirty, gross industry. With trees, especially. And then we need lots of water, lots of fire protection, and lots of parks. 
That's pretty much all you need. I'm gonna build a bridge across. What kind of bridge? That's a that's a good looking bridge. It actually kind of matches the valley too. That one off center. Ooh, that's pretty good too. Between this one and this one. I like that more. I should probably make it an avenue, but eh. Traffic shouldn't be too bad, I think. There we go. Good enough. All right. Next, we need some fire coverage. One big fire station is all you really need. Yep, perfect. And then small plazas. With these, it's just a matter of coverage of the of high land value. If the land value is too low, you're not going to get any high tech industry. It requires the highest land value possible. Well, not well. It might be the most like needy zoning you can possibly get, just because it it hates pollution, which is sucks because industry usually creates pollution. So it's kind of like really tough to single it out because it's the only zone that like goes against itself in terms of development. That's what it run. We'll play whack-a-mole where we destroy all the dirty industry that pops up. Like that one. Okay, let's pause. Whoa. That's definitely dirty industry. This is dirty. Dirty, dirty, dirty. You can I know because I've played this game for a lifetime that the like what looks like dirty and what isn't if you don't know just go over here to the query tool and just look manufacturing is fine it doesn't really pollute uh, let's see here this doesn't tell you the building has to be visible so it's manufacturing but hmm we'll, we'll give room for the high tech eventually the high tech will crowd out even manufacturing from its areas it just takes time So you can't let too much dirty industry pop up, otherwise the pollution actually rises in the area and you won't get any high tech. All the high tech will abandon. Manufacturing is that little middle ground that's not too bad. It just kind of takes up space that could be taken up by high tech. But it still, it does block dirty industry from coming in, so that's also good. You know, once you reach a tipping point, the dirty industry stops trying to move in. And if you have my mod pack, then you can use the... Uh, gosh, what is it called? I basically have a clean air scrubber thing. Where is it? The Goobergen air purification. Basically, this does a light removal of the air pollution in the area. But it's not going to get rid of all air pollution in a given area. That's for sure. It just tones it down, which is perfect for high tech because high tech usually doesn't like the pollution from all the trucks on the road. You can't do anything about the trucks on the road. So it, it's that it's that good little step that you need. It also helps with large cities with lots and lots of roads in the middle with lots of traffic because the skyscrapers and the really rich high-end buildings don't like that kind of stuff they don't like the pollution from the roads which is ironic because they make the pollution because they're gigantic buildings with like thousands of people driving to them every day but you know that's where the goober gen air purifier comes in all right pretty good pretty good let's 
Let's see if we can get a little bit more high tech in here. I want to make sure that the high tech takes root and slowly pushes out the manufacturing. It's not that I don't like manufacturing, it's just not as good as high tech. Let's look at that. Third industry coming in. Get out of here. Uh oh. Man, is the city growing that fast? Or is the power plant just dying? Let's see. Good. Okay. Good. Ooh, that one needs to go. I think I might go for the microwave power plant. I know it's kind of cheap. Well, actually, it's not very cheap because it's very expensive for how much power it produces. But having all your power in one spot and lasting a long time is worth the money. Jeez, that water is so freaking dirty from the pollution. It's beautiful. All right, back up here in the nice clean area. Let's keep clearing out our dirty industry. Let's see, we're getting some abandonment because there's too much dirty industry in the area. I don't see any individual dirty industry that's bad enough to choke it out. Let's see. May just be the, the truck traffic through the area, pulling it down. Oof, get out of here, dirty. No, stop it. All right, we'll keep the manufacturing. Let's get out of here. Manufacturing. Where's my big polluter at? There's gotta be something over here that's just pumping out of the pollution. You know what? I give up. Goober Gen. There we go. As long as it's got water and electricity, you're good. It does suck up a disproportionately high amount of water and electricity for what it does, but it's the only thing that'll help clear the air other than just planting a crap ton of trees, and nobody has time for that. So now you'll notice a lot higher density of the nice buildings that, that I wanted to start with. I think the city is just too poor. Usually a richer city with an established like high tech base of people already living here will really help this out. Eventually the dirty industry, is, there's just no more demand of it. When, you're, when your city is rich enough, it's just a matter of getting to that point. But for now, we just want to get a little foothold of dirty industry. Or, high tech in here anyways I think we're good all right let's do the magnet whatever freaking microwave power plant our city's big enough it's just getting a pain in the butt a little bit off in the woods here like a super secret power plant thing because now we're really pumping out the power this is what, 600,000 megawatts? 500,000? We'll let this take hold and then we will delete a bunch of power plants. There it is. Let's just knock this crap out. If anything, this will give us a little bit more room to stick our dirty industry in here. And one day I will make the harbor that I was talking about in a previous video. Look at that. Now clean, but expensive as heck. This plant alone cost a million dollars. Nothing else in this game costs a million dollars.
And this is also part of a mod. But holy crap. And it's not very cheap. Let's see here. Only at 10% capacity. That's fine. 24000 That is a lot of money. In addition to the million that it already costs. It's ridiculous. But it's clean enough so I can just take a freaking uh, water pump right here. And then it doesn't pollute it. Because it's freaking microwave crazy power. go all right let's get this area right here prepped for some actual rich people to move in that's good enough to start with i know they're messy pipes it's inefficient blah 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 whatever We're just going to do medium density throughout the whole area. It's going to be a little bit of a mess of roads, but that's fine. If everything was a perfect grid in this game, then that would just be really boring. Fingers crossed, tomorrow's a snow day and I get to stay home from work for a little bit. That'd be nice. Doesn't take much snow to get out of work here, which is great. It also kind of sucks because then it's neck of the time. Which means actually not that much changes in my life. I just shift my work around a bit more. Alright, let's see. What am I doing? not doing that we're going to do medium density residential we're going to put a bunch of schools in here we're going to have no commercial both we'll commercial right here in the middle everywhere else is going to be residential Man, I feel like ever since I took this new job, my brain is just fried. Not like it's a super difficult job or anything, but it's my first truly, truly desk job where you just sit at a desk for eight hours straight, really nine hours if you eat lunch at your desk, which is almost insufferable for me. I've never had a desk job like that. Um, at my previous job that I had a few months ago, it was just a matter of, like, you sit at your desk, sure, but then you go out, you go fix computers, and you come back, and you like working on computers, and you're always doing something different. You probably never do, I don't think you ever do the same thing for more than a day or two at a time, but even then, usually it's mixed up with other stuff, and then, like, there's different seasons, like, since it was for a school system, over the summer you do something different, over winter break you do something different. During the school days, you do different things. It's always a little bit different, and that was actually a good amount of variety. But this job, it's same old, same old every day, and it's kind of kind of driving me crazy a little bit. It feels like it. My brain's just adjusting. I think I don't. I don't think it'll be a problem in the long run. It's just a matter of getting used to it. I'll do medium density commercial here in the middle. Let's see. here a bit I don't know part of me doesn't doesn't like the idea of having a desk job forever well, actually I really don't like the idea of a desk job forever uh, that's like the entire reason not the entire reason that was a good portion of the reason I joined the Marines to begin with is I was like you know what I will not 
I refuse to have a desk job. But here I am with a desk job. But you know, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. I'll just go back to fixing computers or something. We'll see. But it has just made me a scatterbrain. That's the heart of this conversation is day job makes me a scatterbrain. I don't, I don't know why. It's just I get home, I can't like focus on anything. It's really difficult for me to focus on stuff. Like I'll be like, okay, now it's time to make tech dive videos, tech dive gaming stuff, and I just want to sit there with, with an empty brain and just do nothing. And I hate it. Okay. I need to fit a high school up here without educating these masses down here, and then we'll also do some elementary schools. That's good enough. Um. Some nice parks. Where's that water park? There's like a water park with a freaking slide somewhere. There it is. Bam. On the way to work, stop by the freaking water park with the water slide. Have some fun. The water park there. Good stuff. Um, some soccer fields. Football fields for you communists out there. Represent communists. Uh, park with like a pond in it. Good stuff. Bam. Uh, what else? Playground. All right. Let that go. It's probably gonna feel like dirty, filthy, disgusting people, but that's fine. They'll get pushed out eventually. No, we got some rich folks. That's nice. It's like rich people are looking down upon the humbled masses below. That's fine. Huge industry area. We got beautiful smog. Only 50, 57,000. That's not too bad. It's about. Reduce that number by 10. So it's almost impossible to use up all the power that thing has. Which is impressive. There we go. Got to make sure no dirty industry creeps in here. Look at this. Look. Look at that crap. Get out of here. Ooh. Filth. Trying to make a clean industry area and you're filling it with these filthy things. It's disgusting. Alright. Super nice, like, suburb looking area up here. It's pretty great. What else can we do? Large flower garden. Yeah. Tennis court. Rich people love tennis courts. Bam, look at that. We're moving in, enjoying this life here on the in these mountains. Or we're really on a plateau kind of thing. Good stuff. All right, anything else I can do here? Not really. What, what is our demand looking like? A lot of in industry demand, that's for sure. Okay. Well, I think we need to hook up this road right here to the avenue. 
I, with this city, I do want to kind of build out onto the harbor a little bit. Kind of have that cool, like, waterfront kind of high-density commercial area. But the demand just isn't pushing for it right now. Once I get a lot of commercial demand, maybe I'll do it. But the industry demand is key. As always, freaking industry is ridiculous. I could build out some more industry drops. Do you have any? Let's see. Major League Stadium. No, nothing really that cool. Got a steel mill. <laughs> what the freak is that? Okay, that's a big freaking. Got a jokester right there. Where is it? A little steel mill that employs 2,500 sims. <laughs> what about this thing? It's not that big. Does this actually give me jobs? Let's see. That looks pretty cool. 111 jobs. Meh. Not impressed at all. All right, what else can we do? Probably push our high tech this way a little bit. Gotta be careful not to get too close to the dirty industry, because even though there's no pollution in these woods, it'll travel across enough. Let's look at that. What is this? Oh. Freak. I, I gotta say nice words. I can't say profane things, because YouTube's gonna get me. They're gonna come after me. They're gonna come to my house, and they're gonna destroy me. You gotta be family friendly. See, I think I, I think I was trying. I got greedy. Also, let's rotate. Okay, I'll take manufacturing. Manufacturing is a good buffer. It, it can handle some pollution, unlike the high tech. High tech, as soon as there's pollution, it's out. It's gone. We're a beautiful city down here. Look at that. Stellar. Also, why don't we have any ramps on this side? What's going on? There we go. That'll help with traffic. All right, let's go to the region. We're at 1.5 million now. We're getting close, really close. One point four three, pretty good. Ugh. All right, that's it for the night. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Ah. Get out of here.